Good day students! Welcome back to Maestrang Teki YouTube channel! Let us continue our discussion. If you haven't watched our week 1 video lesson about the horizontal and vertical motions of a projectile, check out the link in the description box below. We are now going to have Grade 9 Science Quarter 4 Week 2 lesson which is all about projectile motion launched at an angle. Here's our learning objective. Investigate the relationship between the angle of release and the height and range of the projectile. So, get ready to learn this lesson and keep on watching! From the previous lesson, you are introduced to the basic concepts of projectile motion such as trajectory and the definition of projectile motion itself. A body in projectile motion has been established to have a parabolic trajectory with a horizontal and vertical components. The horizontal component of a projectile motion has the acceleration equal to zero since the velocity is constant. On the other hand, the vertical component of acceleration is constant, which is acceleration due to gravity, and that is always equal to 9.8 meter per second squared. Therefore, projectile motion is the combination of horizontal motion with constant velocity and vertical motion with constant acceleration. Take a look at this. Are you familiar with this game? Yes, baseball. This is an example of projectile motion launched at an angle. For angle launch projectile, horizontal velocity or Vx is still constant while the vertical velocity can be described in three parts. First, from the picture as you observe, the projectile rises from point A to point B, the vertical velocity or Vy is decreasing. This is because the direction of gravity is opposite to the projectile motion. Next, as the projectile reaches the maximum height, which is the point B, it momentarily stops, causing a vertical velocity or Vy equal to zero. And third, when it returns back to the ground, from point B to point C, it agrees to the direction of gravitational force. Hence, vertical velocity is increasing. So, when the vertical velocity of the baseball as it rises to the air decreases due to the opposing direction of gravity towards the motion. When the baseball reaches the maximum height, it momentarily stops, causing the vertical velocity to be zero. When it reaches to the ground, its vertical velocity increases since the direction of the baseball's motion is the same with gravity. Take note of that, class! Now, take a look at the variables involved in projectile launch at an angle. We have here the horizontal component and the vertical component. Next, we have the facts about projectile launch at an angle. First up, an object is projected from rest at an upward angle theta. Just like this scenario, the ball started from rest where Stephen Carey is holding the ball. Second, its initial velocity can be resolved into two components. As you can see, we have the horizontal and the vertical component. Third, the horizontal velocity is constant due to gravity. A constant horizontal velocity that moves in the same direction as the launch, the acceleration of which is zero. Fourth, the amount of time the object takes to come to a stop at its highest point is the same amount of time it takes to return to where it was launched from. And lastly, the initial velocity upward will be the same magnitude as the final velocity when it returns to its original height. So, these are the facts about projectile launched at an angle. Next, here are some of the equations that may help you solve problems involving projectile launched at an angle. Let's proceed! Take a look at this photo class. 
what can you say? Which angle results in the greatest range? When we say range, it is the horizontal displacement. And as you can see, the farthest range is in the 45 degrees angle. Next question. Which angle results in the maximum height? Hmm. As you can see, it is the 75 degrees angle. How would you compare the distance traveled by projectile launched at 30 and 60 degrees? As you can see, they have the same range. Same as 15 and 75. They have the same range. This scenario that I have shown you is also an example of projectile motion launched at an angle. And these are the possible results if you launch an object at different angle. Take note class, angle that is usually represented by theta is a numerical value in degrees expressing the orientation of a projectile to be thrown. To sum it up class, the angle of release affects the range and height of a projectile. The maximum range is achieved if the projectile is fired at an angle of 45 degrees with respect to the horizontal component. An object launched at an angle of 30 degrees will also be the same if it is launched at 60 degrees. The angles 30 and 60 degrees are called complementary angles because they add up to 90 degrees. As the angle of launch increases, the vertical displacement of the projectile will also increase. At the highest point, the vertical component of velocity is zero. And the time to reach the maximum height is half of the total time of flight. Now, let us have an example problem. A baseball player leads off the game and hits a long home run. The ball leaves the bat at an angle of 25 degrees with a velocity of 30 meters per second. Let us find the maximum height reached by the ball and the horizontal displacement of the ball. Let us illustrate the problem. As you can see, we have an angle of 25 degrees and a velocity of 30 meters per second. We are looking for the maximum height reached by the ball and the horizontal displacement or range or dx of the ball. Let us try to solve this problem. Here are the given. Our initial velocity or vi which is equal to 30 meter per second, our degree of angle which is 25 degrees, acceleration due to gravity which is 9.8 meter per second squared. The formula that we are going to use is vi times sine theta squared divided by twice the acceleration due to gravity. Now, let us substitute the given to our formula. dy is equal to our vi, which is 30 meter per second, and sine theta, which is sine 25 degrees. Do not forget to square it to itself, divided by 2 times 9.8 meter per second squared. Multiplying these two quantities and squaring it, we have the product of 160.745 and so on meter squared per second squared divided by the product of 2 and 9.8 and that is 19.6 meter per second squared. Let us divide this two. The quotient 8.20 and as you can see, we have to simplify the units. Let's cancel out and the remaining unit is meter. Therefore, our final answer or the maximum height reached by the ball is 8.20 meters. Now, let us solve the second one. What is the horizontal displacement or range of the ball? Again, here are our given. The formula that we are going to use to find the dx is just multiplying vi, cosine theta, and the time. As you can see, we do not have the value of time. Therefore, we have to solve the total time to proceed in the x. And this is the formula that we are going to use. So, let us solve it. Total time is equal to 2 times our vi and sine theta all over the acceleration due to gravity. 30 times sine 25 degrees 
is equal to 12.678 meter per second divided by, of course, our acceleration due to gravity. 12.678 divided by 9.8 times 2, we have 2.59. Let us not forget to simplify our unit by cancelling and our unit is seconds. Therefore, the total time traveled by the ball is 2.59 seconds. Now, we can now solve for the value of dx. dx is equal to our vi, cosine theta, and the value of time. Multiplying these three quantities, our final answer is 70.42 Let us not forget to cancel the units. Therefore, our final answer is 70.42 meters. And that ends our lesson about projectile motion. I hope you learned something new today. Please give this video a thumbs up, share this to your classmates, and do not forget to subscribe to keep you updated for our next video lesson. Comment down for a shout out Shout out to Gabriel Balitos, Al Kaide, Nifty Red Jen, and Mamirna Bigtas, and all the grade 9 students of San Bartolome High School. And also, shout out to all the science teachers of Cavite National High School. Thank you all so much for watching. See you on my next video. Bye!